All right, what is up, lads? So today I got a little bit of a different video for you guys. It is uh, a commentary over a leg day workout that I had during my deload week. And the whole video will just be basically talking about how to run a deload week and how I ran mine uh, recently and basically why you need it. Should you schedule them? Are they necessary? And uh, so we'll hop right into it. So first reason is why I have it. Um, there will be something on the screen shortly, basically saying how, you know, if your body is get take, you know, you're continuously beating your body essentially. And so sometimes your hips, you know, your, your joints in general, but your hips and knees and elbows and shoulders just kind of need, um, a break from just the constant beating, uh, that, that you give it. And if your performance can, is like keeps dropping, then you will uh, you know, not be very happy. So this is basically a way to keep your performance high if you notice your uh, performance dipping. And here's this graph. It is uh, basically just saying how uh, after you know training stimulus and then you need to recover. And then uh, after the, this extended recovery, you will be uh, better off than you were before. Um, just because I don't think people realize how tough lifting can be on the body, the muscles, particularly the joints. Um, so... Deloads are necessary. Elite athletes take them, uh, but especially if you are an elderly lifter or experienced lifter, they're probably more necessary. Uh, if you're a young blood like myself, uh, you probably don't need them as often. Uh, I, I'll, I'll try and take one probably every twelve weeks, but typically I, I actually don't schedule them because you know something will get in the way, uh, whether it be life, uh, getting sick. A, a vacation, something like that. So it's not necessarily scheduled, but given uh, current circumstances, I haven't been sick for a while and I've been coming back from injury. And I kind of just want to be cautious uh, with my injury. So if I do it now, then I will not have to, uh, you know, go see a PT again, which I don't really want to fork out that much money again for. And so I kind of touched on this earlier, but who needs it? Everybody needs it to some extent. Uh, but like everything, results may vary. If you're older, you probably need to run one maybe every six to eight weeks. Um, but if you're younger, don't really have an injury history, you can probably run run one every 12. But if you, I mean, some people could probably go even longer than that. If you don't really have any injuries and if you don't push yourself very hard, then that's part of it too. Like if your intensity in the gym is getting after it every day, you might need one more than a guy who's uh, you know not going very hard. You probably don't need a to be honest, you probably don't need a, a deload week. Um, now, lastly, uh, is how to run it. So right here, you will see um, how much weight is on the bar. I don't even know. 205, I think. So I think the la week before, I hit this for five because I'm still rehabbing my squat a little bit. And so you will see me hit it for a solid two because I hit it for five the week prior. So b basically just cutting the reps in half, uh, to reduce the load and reduce just the overall intensity of uh, the session and just like the fatigue on my body overall. So I'm still getting in the gym. You still go to the gym uh, if you if you can, um, but there's no reason to push yourself. Like you deload week is for your body to recover, or you can do half the sets. So this is what I would uh, do. So for more like bodybuilding style of. Um, Movements, you know, like bicep curls, maybe calf raises, more of the smaller muscles, non-compound movements, close, more like isolation type movements. Uh, I would say that uh, rather than sacrificing intensity um, within the sets, you just cut the sets in half, essentially. So um, instead of doing four sets, you do two sets. You still do two sets hard, probably sacrifice a little bit of intensity rather than being a 10 you know, or a nine, if you're, that's what you're normally doing, then do like a seven or an eight. So you're still pushing very close. And so the other option is half the days as you see me doing lunges. So instead of doing push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, you could do push, rest, pull, rest, legs, rest, 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 and then restart your push, pull, legs the following week. If you're doing upper, lower, rest, uh, upper, lower, rest, upper, lower, then you could do upper, rest, rest, lower, rest, rest, or do like a full body if you want to be in the gym more often. Um, but I think some, this is honestly one of the best is uh, half in the days. If you are a very dedicated gym goer and like you love going to the gym, I think sometimes taking days off can just reignite that fire because now you're really, really wanting to get in there and get after it uh, the following week and just kind of rekindling that, that fire you had at the beginning. 
So here you'll see me doing calf raises. I, I'll usually do uh, three or four sets. So right now I'm only going to do, do one set, uh, pretty high intensity for um, a deload week, but that's kind of what I'll be touching on is, uh, you know, I think for compound movements, if you want to keep uh, kind of a heavier emphasis, then you should keep the weight pretty high, but just drop it on the set. So if you're using doing a triple there or, you know, if you're doing 10, oh, let's do higher numbers. If you're doing uh, a set of eight there, just cut it down to four. So your body is still used to uh, the stimulus of, let's say, 225 pounds. It's used to that stimulus. Um, and then for some of your other uh, more hypertrophy-based or non-compound movements, you can you know, either cut the sets in half or just the, uh, the weight in half. So if you're doing bicep curls, you're doing three sets of 12 with 30s, you can either cut down to, you know, one set or uh, cutting it down from 30s to 15s and doing the same amount of reps. But overall, I think uh, you still want to go in with the mindset that you are going for a lift, you know, still warm up, still do all uh, uh, your accessories. I keep the accessories the exact same. So if uh, as you see me right here, like I'm doing a hip ladder, this is what I do usually to cl close out my leg days. And this is at the exact same intensity as I will always do them. Um, I'll do one, one, two, two, and work my way all the way up to 10. And so I want to keep the uh, accessories uh, very at a high intensity and like I would at the end of a normal leg workout or every other day because I think they're very valuable and usually they probably don't get the love that they deserve. So um, I don't think anyone's really injured themselves from doing too many hip band walks or adductor exercises. So... That being said, uh, I keep the accessories the same, uh, intensity, basically hypertrophy, and uh, I'll call them the more fun exercises. Um, I, I won't be either as intense or I'll cut down the set, and then um, squats, I'll do this, or like compound movements, I will do the same amount of reps, or excuse me, I will cut the reps in half and keep the exact same weight. Um, so really, I think... Uh, if you guys like the video, let me know. But I think uh, deloads are something everybody should use and incorporate to some level or some degree, uh, whether you schedule them or not. That is entirely up to you. Um, or if you just kind of want to take it, what life throws at you. But I would definitely recommend uh, having these uh, incorporated into your training some way, shape, or form. Um, if you guys like this style of video, please let me know. It's something a little bit different for my channel. Yeah, so please like, comment, subscribe, you know, just support the channel, guys. I'm out here trying. Um, I'm not a fitness guru, but I'm trying to uh, pass on any information I obtain myself and pass on to you guys via video format because that is my preferred method of taking in content. So please just leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see next. And let me know, especially if you guys like this style of video or not. Anyway, have a great day. Peace.